hello friends in this video we will talk about json again so first i would like to go through that this uh, small json document here from java t point here what is json so json is an object notation from javascript and is an open source standard okay so key things you needed is here uh, this features and what it holds okay so it's having data type string number boolean and null so this is the important thing that you need to understand when you work with the JSON data. So you will find what is the string. So always the strings will be in double quotes in JSON. Then there will be a number. It can be a floating point or a regular number. And you can have a boolean. Uh, either it will true or false. And the null will be empty. So this is a value here. And these are the data types. Now you will have json object or array okay so this is a simple json object that is having key and value okay so json object refers as a key value pair so you, there will be a key that is always a string and the value can be any of this data type so you you will find is here is like a name jack employee id 001 that is integer and present false or true okay so this is what the json object is about now if you see the array let's see the example okay this is a typical array so in this this is array actually so it will have always values there now if you consider the json array can be understood as a list of objects which are mainly enclosed in square brackets so something in square bracket you will consider as an array and uh, array value can be string number or object itself or array itself or it can be boolean or null so you'll find here like this square bracket here okay and this two json object within that array you will find and they are separated by the comma so this is the first one and this is the second one and that object is holding again the key values plus key and the array so this is how you can in roughly you can understand the json array so this was about that and these are some uh, benefits over xml okay so i just want to uh, talk about this for now okay we are done here with the json objects so this is a basic understanding if you want to start with the uh, json object now we will uh, talk about like if you want to create a api okay and then you want to consume that into your power bi so when you uh, create an api you usually we will uh, try to respond in the json format that's why we just uh, went through this json document now uh, we'll talk about how we can create an api in uh, visual studio okay this is a sample web api i have created but i will show that again so let's go to create a new project here and uh, this is the latest uh, visual studio developer edition and you can go and select uh, here like c -sharp, all platforms web now in web you will find there are different options are here like sp.net core web then sp.net core mt uh, web app now you have to read what it will give you so this is like a project template creating an sp.net core application with example sp.net core mvc views and controllers uh, this template can be used for rest full http service so this is one of that then another one is like a core web api so this is what we are looking for okay so you can find this symbol actually for rest uh, api like web api so let's click on next here give some name here let's say okay this is what uh, i want to keep and rest is as it is and say click next now here the important thing is don't go with this older versions but why because it uh, there is a new additional features they are not present uh, uh, that i will talk you uh, after 
the con uh, creation of this web API project. So those things are not available in 3.1, but in 5.1 it is to available easily. So go with the 5.1, uh, 5.0. Okay, and this is what we need enable open API support and this I don't need docker information anything This is what is the default one say create Now This sample weather API is ready here. You can see weather forecast. Okay, so This is what your web API looks like okay let's build this one and you will find it here uh, controllers and other things so you can read these things more in depth but for now I just uh, and run this one first and then once your API is live we try to pull that data into Power BI desktop okay so meanwhile I will also start Power BI desktop Okay, and here we'll start IS Express version is there. Now it will start uh, web page. It will show the API we have. It will take a few seconds. Okay. So you see uh, the feature I was talking that is called Swagger. The Swagger is something it's inbuilt in 5.0. Uh, you can read more about what is the Swagger and all. But uh, in general, when this API will load here, you will figure out like why, uh, what is the importance of Swagger. Swagger is uh, allowing you to execute your API and understand your API and list out your APIs that you have in your API project. So in general, this is what I understand about the Swagger. Okay, so, okay, it's taking a little bit more. Let's wait a few more seconds. okay now it is loaded so you see this is how it's look this uh, swagger thing and you will find here there is one API we have and this is what uh, it's a get method and it's called weather forecast and now you can try it out here actually and execute it so once we execute it will return something so this is the response okay now this this response I want this response in uh, I want this response into my power bi right so for that let's select the gate data see this api I build but there is no authentication when you build uh, there is an option right you want to provide authentication or not but as of now there is no authentication so uh, it's uh, anonymous login will be there and for that we will just simply select a uh, web here okay and if we need this uh, URL right this is our base URL okay and uh, oh it's uh, very slow don't know why okay this is what we have and say okay so we selected the web connector and we just uh, provided the URL here and now we will see how we can consume it so this is anonymous we have selected this is my URL and we'll say connect now once we click connect it will directly go into the data editor okay it should go into the data editor and it will show me in editing mode with the data available it will not show me any table or anything because we don't have uh, 
in between table like so it will just extract that uh, data and show in the tabular format directly into the data editor okay it's processing and now I can see uh, it is our query edit editor is loaded and yes here we have the data right so in see this is a new version of RBI desktop and it loads one two three four step automatically you don't need to do it previous in previous version you have to do these things your own like converting into table expanding the columns and everything now they automate this thing and this is a very important feature so now you can just call your link and you are done okay rest of the things uh, like it's uh, handled by the internal of the power bi desktop so this is what we have now so let's say close and apply taking a little more time here okay it's loaded so you can see this table now and this is the data let's load the data into table okay and uh, here we have summary temperature last will have a date show the date here. okay great so we are done here now so this was about how you can create a JSON uh, responding API into ASP.NET and how you can consume that API into your Power BI. So it's very simple, straightforward, uh, easy steps I have shown here. Uh, I hope you guys like it. 